Okay. Your thoughts on e-democracy and open government in a nutshell? E-democracy and open government provide the opportunity for governments to include not only their traditional peers but also people that normally wouldn't participate. In order to do so, they have to think of that right in the beginning. What does open mean to you? Open means that we try to bring down the silos that exist in public administration in multiple aspects. First of all, in, in between uh, different administrative entities, also between stakeholders, so to involve stakeholders in processes where they normally would not be involved, but also to bring down borders, meaning that public administration think outside of their territory and include those public administrations from abroad and the other way around. Name a good practice in e-democracy or open government. Uh, open government and e-democracy allow participation from anywhere. So basically it enables you to participate from wherever you want, irrespective of... Uh, or basically you can participate in the, in the government processes that you want and not which you're entitled to or possible to because of your location. So meaning, very often where I grew up in Fallberg, there it's very far from Vienna, and it's hard to participate in events which require presence in Vienna because you would have to travel all day and the internet makes it possible to do that from it wherever you want. And uh, could you name a bad practice in e-democracy or open government? Bad practice is definitely that uh, e-democracy tends to activate the already activated so that it's a tool that is more effective and efficient uh, for those that already know how to use the political system. And in order to include also people that don't have this knowledge, that takes some effort. What will we be discussing at CEDEN in 2026? In 2026 we'll be evaluating the impact of transnational e-democracy and open government services. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.